I've been hunting my whole life. I've been studying animals' behavior and communication for over 30 years. And about two decades ago, I founded a company, Illusion, to create game call systems so you could talk to animals. And now, it's time to share that information. Welcome to Deer Society's Calling Tips. Now, one other great use of a fawn bleat um, is just locating deer. And locating deer and letting deer know that, hey, there's other deer over here. So if you know that deer tend to funnel into a certain area and they tend to come out and feed in a certain place with a certain wind and a certain time of the day, don't be afraid to use that fawn bleat. It's not alerting. It's not... Um, it's not a call that's really challenging. It's just simply, it's not threatening in any way. And so it's just a, a sound and a call that's natural that you can use as to just let other deer know there's action, there's a community or there's deer, other deer here and that they can feel safe. So that's one way that you can definitely use a fawn a fawn bleat. Now, with that in mind, you want to make sure that you're not making a emotional call for them to feel distress. So you just want to do simple fawn bleats and you can kind of put them out into the different directions in your area. And I'm, I'm just a big believer in fawn bleats in the early season. Early archery season, I just love it because they're still interacting. You know, this is all still happening right up into before the, the breeding season. So there's still a lot of community going on there. There's a lot of uh, parental instinct and a lot of family structure still happening between the fawn and the doe. So fawn bleats are great for, for just locating and letting deer know that you're here to give them the comfort to come out and work that area, um, you know, directionally. So what I would do is just do that fawn bleat and do it around myself into the different areas depending, depending on where the deer you might think they might come from. Those are the areas that I'd want to hit up. And it's just... And, and then just you just do one is all you got to do and just wait a minute or two or whatever and then you can just go and maybe a little louder if it's a windy day okay but that's not that's not emotional when you go down in the inflection and, 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 that's not an emotional that's just saying I'm right here because what they're doing is they're just doing their normal fawn sound ah, and then they close their mouth ah, Ow, ow, that's all that's happening. That's why it's changing the tone. So use the fawn bleat um, in that way if you just want to let deer know that, hey, there's other deer here and feel free to come out into this area when you're coming out to feed and getting ready to move around. With the extinguisher game call, we change the way that the industry looks at grunt calls. I don't think there's anything else anywhere near the performance level that this call can produce. When you can follow a mature whitetail like that, your, your possibilities are really endless when you head to the woods. I use the extinguisher and the black racks. They're fantastic and I would not go in the woods without them in my arsenal. The extinguisher deer call and black rack rattling system are the highest rated deer communication systems of all time. Get yours today at illusionsystems.com. Order now.